found out my wife cheating on me last night. Hi, I tried posting this on another related subreddit and it was removed. I read the rules here and I'm very sure it doesn't violate any for this sub. Please mods if you want to remove this let me know why. I'm trying to find support for the turmoil I'm feeling, and I don't know who else to turn to but anonymous people on the internet. Anyway here goes. I met my wife in 2011, I was DJing a social event at school and playing some 90s rocks. I was playing Third Eye Blind and my wife liked the song that came on. She talked to me, we bonded over our mutual love of the band, yada yada, and we started dating. Fast forward to 2013, we got engaged and we took a trip to celebrate. We have this memory we talk about a lot of listening to the whole Third Eye Blind catalog and singing along to all the songs together. We got married that year. Fast forward through our whole marriage, we had this thing where we would try to see the band as much as we could. We saw them whenever they were on tour, a total of 9 times during our 9 years of marriage. Last night we were supposed to see them for the 10th time. If you're the math in your head, we've been married for 10 years as well. That's coming up in November, so I had this whole thing planned where we would go see the show, stay over at a hotel, and have a romantic night. I get home from work on Friday, my wife is getting ready. She looks amazing. I see a text come on her phone. You know how the rest of the story goes I don't even want to type it. She met some guy the night before when I was away for work. The part that killed me the most was she wrote that he needed to get condoms, and he's lol. So I'm left wondering, did they even use any? What does it matter anymore anyway? After reading that I just left the house and started for the concert. She calls me about 15 minutes later like where are you? Oh you know, just on the way to the show. What? Why? You know why. Think long and hard as to why I might be acting this way. I just hung up. Anyway, I think I was in shock still, I was pretty cool about it. But there's some backstory there I don't want to get into as to why I was prepared, she's cheated twice before in the past. I didn't really have any emotions at the time. Actually when I started typing this was the first time I felt anything. So she calls back and starts going through the motions. Oh, we are just friends. Oh, we didn't actually do it. Oh, I was drunk. Oh, it was just in a little bit. Then it was all come back and let's talk about this like adults as if I'm the childish one for having stormed out. I'm thinking no. If that happens I'm not seeing this show. We're just going to talk about how she cheated and she's going to try and seduce me. And that thought grossed me out. I never thought about sex with my wife and felt gross, but then I did. So I got to the concert and the guy scanned my ticket. He looks at me and says there's two indicating that he wanted to scan the other one. I just stared at him blankly and said yes. There's two, and went inside. I was so weird, I felt like I was hypnotized. And then there was the show. Amazing show. I had a good time. I met some nice people in my row and we had a fun time enjoying the concert together. Some lyrics hit a little differently. I've never been so alone. And I've never felt more alive. I felt pretty alive at the concert. I danced with the crowd and screamed my frustrations into the loudspeakers. No one could hear me over the loud rock music. It was over pretty early. I wanted to sit at the bar and drink but that would have required talking to someone, and I just couldn't outside of the context of the concert. I was thinking about the texts again. So I went to the hotel I had booked for my wife and me and went to sleep alone. I woke up to about 30 emails. She was up all night feeling all kinds of emotions I guess. Guilt. Shame. Anger. Anger at me. Those were the most surreal, the ones where she was mad at me for going through her phone. A lot of bargaining and pleading. The worst was she had sent me cards I had written for her years before. Anniversary cards. Birthday cards. Christmas cards. 
I always hand wrote a letter for her, professing my love for her. I never used to write anyone cards like these, but I did for her. She used to write cards like these for me. She hasn't in a number of years. I think her intent was that upon reading the cards, my heart would soften and I would realize how much I loved her. I would come to my senses and come to her, and we would talk it through, and I would forgive her, and it would all be better. But instead, it just made me realize how much she doesn't love me. At this point, I can't forgive her. I forgave her once and here we are. If I forgive her again, it's just a matter of when, not if, I'm back in the same scenario, writing sob stories on Reddit. The only question now is whether I respect myself to make sure this never happens to me again. OP you already gave her enough chances. It's time for you to move on. Who knows how many more instances have occurred that you don't know of. You are young and still have an opportunity to find happiness and enjoy life. Story 2. My wife cheated. So, my, 26F, wife called her M cheated on me, 27M, with a friend of mine, 27M, called him J for the story's sake. A bit of backstory. We met when I was 22 at another friend's wedding. She was a good friend of the bride and I was the groom and they sat us at that table so we would get together. When I first saw her, I was completely taken aback by how beautiful she was, and when she sat down, and we began to talk we found out we had a lot of things in common we clicked instantly. We talked for a while at the dinner and took to the dance floor. We danced and drank through the night we ended up kissing in the middle of the dance floor and when we pulled away our friends, the bride and groom, came up to us and asked what was up between us, they were really excited to play matchmaker, we just shrugged it off and carried on with our night. We left not exchanging numbers but about a week later I got a text from her asking me out, the bride gave her my number, I of course said yes, and it turned into a relationship. The relationship was great other than small arguments we never really fought, and it was never anything really serious I eventually asked her to marry me about two years into our dating and we were married less than a year later. We were married for a little more than a year when it all came crashing down on me. Just before our first anniversary, there were little things that were irritating me, she became more guarded about her phone, girls nights became more frequent, and our sex life was almost non-existent. I had brought this up on multiple occasions but was brushed off and that I was letting my insecurities get to me. She would continue to go on as if what I felt and tried to communicate didn't matter to her, so I became colder and colder. I stopped giving her a goodbye kiss as I left for work and unless it was something important, we hardly spoke. One night while she slept, I took her phone and laptop and skimmed through her texts, emails, and messenger apps and found nothing and from reading stories on here I checked her car. I grabbed her keys and looked in her car and found a second phone I knew in that instant what was going on, but I wanted all the evidence for when I called her out, I didn't want her to say something like it had only happened once or anything stupid like that. I looked through the phone and found only one number I read through every message I connected the phone to my computer printed out every message and every photo and spent the night researching divorce lawyers. I spent hours of my day in my at-home office reading bios of lawyers and found one that I liked and emailed him but as it was a Saturday, he wasn't in the office I then wanted to know who the guy was, so I grabbed my phone typed the number I wanted to call and pretend I'm Spectrum because who doesn't have Spectrum but Jay's contact popped up. It took me a minute to put two and two together but when I did, I blew up. I was yelling and cursing in my office and my wife opened the door to check on me but when I saw her, I told her to get the F out. She closed the door and went to our room I had never cursed at my wife or raised my voice above a normal volume. All day I never left my office I was just silently raging just glaring at the wall. I called one of my friends, the groom from the wedding, and told him I needed to go for a drink and asked if he'd come with me. He must have heard something in my voice because he asked if I was okay, I told him I wasn't and I really need to drink. So, without a word, I took all the printouts and left to go to the bar. I arrived first and ordered four shots of Jack and a beer I was on my last shot when my friend, call him T, arrived and asked what was going on I told him straight out I'm cheating, 
he gave me sympathy and I asked if he wanted to know with who and told him it was Jay, he became visibly irritated he was the one that introduced me to Jay and all he could say was I'm sorry over and over. Jay and I were never super close we wouldn't ask one another to hang out but if we saw each other at a get together we were friendly. I told T don't mention this to anyone as I had just found out and I haven't even spoken to M or a lawyer yet. I asked him not to tell his wife and if she asked what was wrong with me to say I'm having problems at work he agreed. We drank and talked for most of the night then I called an Uber and went home around 3 am. It was the first time I looked at my phone since I called T and there were missed calls and a bunch of texts all from him asking me where I was when I'd be home and if I was okay. I got home and she was asleep on the couch I just walked up to our bedroom and went to sleep. I woke up with her in the bed, so I got dressed and left the house. I went to pick up my car and go to my office buried myself in work for the day and went back home around 10 pm. To my surprise, my wife was there to greet me and she told me she had made me dinner she asked if I wanted her to heat it up, and I told her no and went to bed. She followed soon after asking what's been wrong with me, I told her to leave me alone and that I wanted to sleep. She kept pestering me eventually I snapped and yell I'm stop I'm trying to sleep go away. The next morning, I received an email from the lawyer asking to meet later in the day and I confirmed and got ready for my day. I went downstairs to leave and M had made breakfast asking to talk I made a small plate and sat down she started by saying I've been acting different and going on and on about how I changed, and she wanted to know why I told her work has been stressful and soon it would be all over. I finished up and told her I've got to go I went to my office and counted down the minutes to go meet the lawyer. When I left, I told my assistant I was going out to lunch with a client, my wife would call my work sometimes, and left. The meeting with the lawyer went well and I handed over all I had gathered on her the lawyer told me well I'm sorry for all that's going on but I'm happy you gathered all this information you see we live in an at fault state, so your wife has no claim on most of your money I told him I didn't even think about that I was just thinking I've got to divorce her as soon as possible. He asked to keep the evidence, but I told him I'd prefer you to just make copies as I haven't told my wife I knew yet and I don't want to hear her excuses he agreed and had his assistant make copies I asked when she will be served with papers, he told me about two weeks I then thanked him and left. I went home to confront my wife when I arrived, she wasn't home, so I called her no answer called again no answer I texted her I don't give af if you writing J right now get home we need to talk low and behold she calls me not a minute later asking what I was talking about all I told her was get home now. She arrived about 15 minutes later and I said to her while well, look at that 15 minutes that's about the same distance between here and Jay's isn't it she looked at me dumbfounded I gave her a minute to gather herself but she was just looking at me and I said well nothing to say. She tried to deny and gaslight me and I let her continue on she worked herself up and started to insult me. I slammed my fist on the table to shut her up and pulled out the evidence first showed it from the side and said look at this mountain of things I gathered on you then I showed her each printout at a time she then told me to stop and started to cry she tried to apologize and tells me she loved me I said honey what happened to that energy you had before. You were so adamant about degrading and insulting me just a minute ago. She tried to hang me and tell me how sorry she was I put my hand out and told her not to touch me she said well go to the bedroom and do whatever I like I looked her deep into her eyes and told her sweetheart I will never touch you again do you want to know who else has these photos and messages my lawyer I'm divorcing you now get a bag gather your clothes and get the f out of my house. That was three days ago and I haven't heard from her. I'm sorry about how long this is and if there are any spelling errors. I'm curious to those have been where I'm at and what can I expect from here. Thank you for reading. OP you handled your situation well. More Redditors need to read how you handled infidelity and learn from you. Your love story started out great and then her true nature came out. Hang in there and keep growing as a man. Thank you for listening to today's story, please comment below 